All right, we're going to do our own poll and we're going to have our own sample. So could someone tell me what is in? Sample size. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. There is twenty of you. Our sample size is twenty. What's our margin of error? So one over the square root of twenty. So I'm going to endeavour to actually work that out. Uh, right, so oh, 1 20. divided by the square root of 20, and if I times that by 100, I get 22.3%. I'm going to call that 22%, and I'm just going to go like that, because that's actually timesing it by 100, to give it as a percentage. Right, who likes chocolate? Hands up. One, two... Because that's my margin of error. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. 17. Okay, so what percentage likes chocolate? So we're going to go 17 divided by 20. We've got 85%. Okay, what is my confidence interval? I am 95% confident that between, come on, who's doing it? 85 minus 22, 63. And what? 107. <laughs> Okay, I will talk to that in a minute. Year 13 students like chocolate. Okay. Okay, so what did we do here? What we did was we had a sample size of 20. We know it's 1 over the square root of n, but we times it by 100 to get it to the percentage. So you, yeah, so you can actually just use 100 over the square root of 20 to get that. Yes. Well, I put people's hands up, and 17 out of 20 people like chocolate. So I went 17 divided by 20 on my calculator, and I got 85. Was I correct? Yes. Yeah. So then I got my 85 less my margin of error, right? to get the 63 and my 85 plus my margin of error to get that. So that looks a bit silly going up to 107, but we had such a small sample size, so it's not really telling us much. Okay, so that's our first one. So if we can remember 63 and 107 and 85, we're doing well. Someone remember that? So I want to tidy this up, and we're going to go, who likes chocolate? That's I'm going to put between 0 and 100, that's 50, so 63 to 107, and what was that? 85, so that's like chalk, okay, so hands up who likes stats, learning stats at school, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, so that is 6 out of 20, um, 6 out of 20 is, is the same as what over 100? 20 times 5, 30%, thank you. So that's about there. What's my margin of error? What was our margin of error? Was it 22%? So my 30 goes up to 52 and down to? To what? Eight. To 8. Oh, my Lord. Okay. From 8% to 52%. So, what I've got here is there's no crossover. Here I've got a gap in the middle. So, I can confidently state, 95% confidence, that um, there is definitely a difference back in all year 13s that more people do like chocolate than like stats. Does that make sense? Yeah. Now, should this, people who have liked stats, 
Um, we'll do the stats again, but this time pretend to like it. So I just need a few more people. So hands up who like the stats. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, so now we've got up to eight. Um, so there we've got up to 40%. That's a convenient. So now I've got 62 and 18. That's 62. What's this one here? That was 63. Yeah. In my never-ending attempt to clarify, with these, this diagram, what would the sample percentage have been for this variable? Sample percentage. 75. What would the margin of error have been? 5%. So you've got 5% margin of error. The width of the confidence interval is 10%. This one, what's my uh, margin of error? I've actually got 10% here, haven't I? 10%. So we actually don't want, um, we want the same margin of error because we want to pretend that it is the same uh, sample the same people so I'm going to go I want that to be 71 so that's going to have to be just ignore all of that 61 what's going to be in the middle Sixty. 65 are you sure but then one plus four is five. I want it to be in the middle, don't I? You're saying 65. I'm seeing a problem that between there and there is four, and between here and here is six. So I'm not liking it. So what do you think it is? Yeah, this is five. And this is five, but what's this? Six. 66. Okay, so. 65. 66. Are we all good with 66? <laughs> so, this 66, and that's 75. What's the difference? Of this, so that's the sample size, uh, sample proportion, sample proportion. So 75 less 66 is what? 9% difference. Right. What is my margin of error? It, if I said 9%, why does that not change? Plus or minus 5%, would that be correct? No, because that would, you actually have to go plus or minus 10%. Because that's at 70, that's at 71, there is actually a crossover. So when we're comparing, we actually need the full width of the confidence interval, not half of it. Ah, bingo. Now, can you explain that better than I did? I'm sure you can. Um, you get it? So it's actually 9% plus or minus 10% because if the 66 was 71 back in the population and if the 75 happened to be 70, then this, let's just pretend that's chocolate and pretend that's stats. It's possible back in the population that more people like stats than chocolate. Okay. Are we any the wiser? A little bit. Um, no. So you know when you plus or minus, where do you get the minus 10%? Oh, plus or minus 10%. So the difference could be anywhere between negative 1 up to 19%. The difference between the two back in the population. Because remember when we're sampling, we're only estimating. Yeah? Okay. That is a mess, isn't it? We did the rule of thumb. 
One thing some people learn is that you can go 100 over the square root of n to straight away get a percentage. Okay? That gives us the percentage that the population proportion could be wrong. So you take the population proportion and you plus or minus the, the 100 over the root n to find that confidence interval for that proportion. But when you've got two questions or two different answers for the same question in the same sample, so think about it's the same people answering, okay? So the same person who said that they liked chocolate was the same person who answered the question about stats. We actually have to double this margin of error that becomes 200 because we actually, if we've got a margin of error there and a margin of error there, we're actually interested in the distance between those two sample proportion, sample proportion, where actually that distance has to be as large as the confidence interval. Otherwise, you're going to have overlap. And the, length, the width of the confidence interval is actually twice the margin of error. Is that what we learned? Are we nodding? Are we shaking our heads or are we good? Yep. Yeah, we're making progress. Yeah. Does anyone want to add to that? No, thanks.